A master model builder is somebody that works for one of the Legoland parks or the Discovery Centers, and they create all of the buildings or any of the sculpture models that need to be put into the parks. We work side by side with a designer, and the designer comes up with the idea, and then the designer works with the model builder, which was what I did, and says this, they give you a little prototype maybe a little section of it, or they give you a hand drawing or something that you have to work with. And my job was to bring all of that into the final product. And so it could be anything from making little teeny tiny mini landers to six foot humans or say Chewbacca for the Star Wars. Um, I helped build a six foot Chewbacca during my time there, which was massive, and he was pretty cool looking. It was a lot of fun. You worked with some really quirky, interesting, artistic people over the time that I was there. Um, I made some really good friends and people that have a diehard passion for Lego and their product, which made it really interesting. A lot of people go, oh, I would love to do that. You get paid to play all day long, and the reality is you're not really playing because you're working and designing stuff and making stuff. And in most of the days, it was a lot of fun to go in, but other days you had to go in and be like, oh, you know, I can't talk to the people that are around me because I'm on a budget and I need to get this done and I need to finish this and it needs to go to a park and be on display. Um, but it's an interesting skill and amazing conversation starter when people ask you what you do or what you've been doing and you tell them that you are a Lego model builder. Um, at Legoland, I was part of an amazing team and we built single-handedly, all of us, or collectively, I guess, we built Legoland Florida, Legoland Malaysia, we did the Discovery Centers in Grape, Grapevine, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia, Kansas City, Missouri, and Westchester, New York. Um, my favorite was to work for Legoland Florida because that was a huge amusement park. Oh, and we did uh, the hotel in California, which was really cool too. But Legoland Florida, Legoland Florida was really cool because I got to go visit it with my parents and actually see all of my work on display. and. That's awesome. When you get to see something leave a warehouse that you've spent hours and hours building and then see people enjoying it and having people touch them and take pictures of them and ask you questions, I think that's that's one of the more enjoyable aspects of it is getting to see people enjoying what you've done. And I worked on Angkor Wat, which is a Cambodian temple or area of prayer and from ancient times. We, I started at Legoland in 2009 and that was one of the very first projects that I had began, began on and I was doing just little tiny detail stack work on it and I had just started out so they were training me while I was doing stuff for this project and eventually my little pieces started to start collecting and collecting and I realized that this project is huge and that project, I worked with a team of four people, and we each worked between six to ten months on it, I would say. I had actually already applied to Legoland in 2003, and I didn't even make the first round. So this time around, I sent my application in, or my resume, and they called me that night, and they said, we would love for you to come in to have an interview with us. And I went to a pretty intense four hour interview. We did a group build, an individual build, some icebreaker games to get to know everybody, and then individual interviews with all of the higher up people at Legoland, which were also master model builders and people that designed parks. So it was a little intimidating. I went home and I waited and I waited and it was about nine o'clock um, when they finally called and said we'd like you to come in tomorrow if that would be okay. The following day we had a final interview with everybody and then we also did a three-hour build-off and it was themed around Legoland's um, Land of Adventure. So think kind of Indiana Jones and Egyptian pyramids and stuff of that sort. And then they named off five more people for Master Builders and I was like alright well 
already beat out a couple of people. And then they, they named off my name, and that was meant that I wasn't coming in at the bottom level. I was actually coming in a step above the bottom level, which was awesome. And at that point, they gave us our name badges and said, you are now part of the Legoland crew, and you're master model builders, and when you're finished with all of your training, you will be awarded at the end. And we got a certificate that said, I'm a master model builder, and now we know all these cool secrets. I also took a large scale ceramics class, which was really interesting. And I think that was, that was helpful in the sense because you had to also realize clay is very malleable. And so you need to make sure that what you're working on doesn't collapse and you have to be tedious about it and slow and methodical. And that kind of helps with Lego because when I was working at Legoland, you can't rush stuff. You have to, um, if, the glue is wet or the windows aren't working or something needs support and you don't have a piece, you have to be patient with it. And I learned that definitely during some of my schooling, patience is really important. But my background is in visual communications and so that definitely helped in the creative aspect of, of model building. Working at Playwell actually helped me a lot um, being able to use the Lego bricks and the elements in fashion and different ways that I wouldn't normally have thought to use them. Normally you take your Lego bricks and you stack them on top of each other and then you put a window in and you overlap it. Um, actually learning to build upside down and taking elements and flipping them sideways. There's a technique, it's called snot or studs not on top. And that was something that had I gone into my interview at Legoland without knowing that, I don't know if I would have gotten the job. Um, I think just keep seeing things and continuously using your hands to explore and play with them all the time. Um, and don't just take a Lego model for what it is. Build something and destroy it and build something cooler and newer and bigger and better and don't stop playing. I never... I, the one thing is growing up, I never stopped playing with Lego. I was always very excited about it. I still play with Lego in my free time. Um, when I'm working for Playwell, I'm excited to go in and, and make new things and show the kids what I'm working on. And then I come home and I'm still thinking about what I could do um, or coming up with projects for my kids to work on. So just never stop exploring.